dear students this is siri lecturer in physics today our uh, topic is uh, origin of fossil fuels fossil fuel formation what is fossil fuels fossil fuels are hydrocarbons primarily coal fuel oil or natural gas formed from the remains of dead plants and uh, animals so in coming the term fossil fuel also includes hydrocarbon containing natural resources that are not derived from animal or plant sources these are sometimes known instead as mineral fuel so the utilization of fossil fuels has enabled large scale in industrial development and largely supplanted water driven mills as well as combustion of wood or peat for heat fossil fuels is a general term buried combustible Uh, geological deposits of uh, organic materials formed from decayed plants and uh, animals that have been uh, converted to crude oil and uh, coal uh, natural gas or heavy oils by exposure to heat and pressure in the earth's crust so over hundreds of million years of ago so the burning of fossil by humans in the largest source of emissions of carbon dioxide which is one of the generation gases that uh, allows radiative forcing and uh, contributes to global warming a small portion of hydrocarbon based fuels are biofuels derived from atmospheric carbon dioxide and uh, thus don't increase the net amount of carbon dioxide in atmosphere fossil fuels uh, india has a reserve of coal the fourth largest in the world according to a rough estimate uh, the total recoverable coal uh, coal in india is 90 billion ton about 10% of the world's total with the present rate of consumption so india will have enough coal for about 300 years and we have only 0.6% of the world's oil and gas reserves and oil and gas represents over 40% of the total energy consumption in india crude oil reserves are estimated as 600 million tons uh, enough to last about of 22 years uh, at the present rate if no further discovery uh, is made natural gas reserves uh, estimated 1000 billion uh, uh, enough to last for 30 years if no further discovery is made and oil and gas reserves are insufficient even for the transportation sector so the domestic production um, is increasing slowly but however recent findings of gas reserves in rajasthan and uh, krishna godavari location of the visakhapatnam coast may change in the trend and uh, fossil fuels mainly uh, forming uh, millions of years ago organisms in ancient ocean died uh, their remains fell to the ocean floor here look at this picture ocean floor dead organisms are there and the next picture is 5200 million years ago over time layers of sediment uh, pill on uh, to of the remains of the dead organisms so this formed layers of the sedimentary rock mainly rocks are three types one is igneous rock and uh, second one is sedimentary rock and third one is metamorphic rock so oil formations and hydrocarbon fossil fuel formation only sedimentary rock so here dead organisms in this formed layers of the only sedimentary rock 
and today ocean floor is up and oil or is rig is there and oil beds are there look at this picture clearly and heat and pressure from the weight of the layers turned uh, the remains into a fossil fuel is called oil and uh, next slide is geological timeline or geological time scale so geological time scale means the time span of the earth's history about 3000 million years uh, it is roughly represented by the column of sedimentary rocks now present on the earth so in this record the time elapsed during the formation of unconformities is missing so these unconformities are however important because they subdivided the geological time into smaller units like eras periods epoches stage and zone so what is mean by era periods epoches stage and zone so here uh, geological timeline um, so different uh, millions years and different eras here formed the different uh, like uh, animals dinosaurs plants amphibols mammals are there so era time means uh, cenozoic mesozoic and paleozoic precambrian 0 to 3000 million years so what is era so era is a major units of the geological time so these called as era so i repeat again the major units of the geological time and uh, period each era has been subdivided into smaller time units so is called periods and next one epoch epoch means periods are further divided into small parts periods are further divided into small parts is called epoch and next one stage stage is a part of the series stage is a part of the series is called stage so it's characterized by this typical assemblage of fossils and uh, next one is zone so the basic unit of stage is called zone so it's recognized mainly on the basis of the most characteristics of the fossil form so periods is a uh, recent pleistocene uh, main modern plants and animals many mammals are die uh, era is quaternary and next era is tertiary tertiary period is pliocene uh, miocene algeocene eocene and paleocene lifetime is mammals birds mollusca and flowering plants are die and next one is mesozoic era mesozoic era periods are cretaceous jurassic triassic uh, life is uh, dinosaurs flowering plants ammonites dinosaurs ammonites reptiles amphibians so these are all die in this era mesozoic and next one is paleozoic Paleozoic era period are Permian, Carboniferous, Devonian, Silurine, Ordovician and Cambrian. So life is reptiles, non-flowering plants, amphibians and corals, brachypods, early land plants, freshwater fishes and graftolites, tribolites graptolites and uh, trilobites so these are all die so last but not least precambrian era period are proterozoic and archaeozoic uh, life is soft to bodied animals and plants lifeless so these are all the geological time scale or timeline span and next slide is hydrocarbon formation Hydrocarbon means like uh, fossil fuels, oil, gas, natural gas and uh, petrol, diesel, crude oil, uh, mixing of crude oil. Here, kerosene, oil, 
gas is uh, oil gas window and depth is 1 to 5 km and temperature degree celsius uh, 32 around 150 degree celsius here uh, kerosene depth is 1 to uh, 1.9 kilometers and temperature is 30 degrees to uh, 42 degree celsius and the next oil formation is uh, 1.95 to uh, around 4.5 kilometers depth and degree celsius is 60 to 139 degree celsius and uh, next next one is gas gas is uh, 4.9 to above kilometers and uh, degree celsius is 139 degree celsius to above 150 degree celsius so this is the hydrocarbon formation of depth and next slide is impervious rock reservoir rock what is mean by impervious rock permeable it's a flow of fluid or water something it's a flow but impervious is not escaping uh, in this bed so gas is there oil is there and water is there so these three layers is the impervious rock bed here water density is 1 gram per cc and oil density is 0 0.9 gram per cc and above gas above density because gas density is very less depends on uh, density uh, in here and reservoir rock this is the reserve some material is there oil or gas whatever but uh, reservoir rock is some uh, deposits are there so next slide is next slide is next slide is uh, photosynthesis sunlight photosynthesis decay organisms and fossil fuels uh, arrow mark is uh, here root uh, respiration auto and uh, factory emissions uh, co2 cycle is there plant respiration and animal respiration and organic carbon so uh, we can call the how to flow diagram uh, uh, energy flow to the earth so this is the sun sun is the main source of the uh, earth and the renewable energy and the last slide is uh, oil wells and uh, platform here oil wells and uh, dry land and sea land like uh, offshore and onshore so oil wells dry land gas oil water he here and uh, platform is offshore sea land gas oil water so this is the water proof uh, rigging is there oil water dry land and rigging the platform of the oil water in sea offshore land and next slide is the coming of the fuels open cost coal mines is there and uh, coal or gas uh, fired uh, power stations with uh, cot captures plant and uh, co2 transferred by the pipeline to the uh, finally CO2 injected carbon dioxide how to injected and here the animals uh, like saline aquifers and uh, depleted oil and gas fields so finally CO2 storage site is there so and uh, uh, this is the CO2 injection and CO2 pipelines is coming to the injected and uh, un Mineable coal seams are there and this is the saline aquifers uh, flow to, through the uh, depleted oil and gas fields. Thank you. Thank you one and all.